The dashing Prince George, later known as the Prince Regent, took the reins of power in England, and for a brief time, the Georgian period became the Regency period. Let's explore how the Regency period and its prince has been immortalized in movies and television. In order of release, we first have Princess Caribou. This film, made in 1994, is about a young woman who was found in a field wearing exotic clothes and speaking a language no one understands. Whispers and rumors spread quickly with the mystery of, who is she? Is she some sort of foreign princess, or is she a pretender? The family who is taking care of her and a local reporter, as well as the Prince Regent in his brief cameo, would all really like to know. This is a cleverly done mystery movie that I enjoyed very much and is based on a true story. Next, let's talk about Vanity Fair, which originally was a novel by William Thackeray written in 1847. There are a ton of different adaptions of this, like radio dramas, silent films, TV shows, and movies. It follows Becky, a low-born girl who uses her wits to climb her way up the social ladder. Warning, there is a lot of stepping on people to get there. In a few versions, she even gets to meet the Prince Regent. No matter what version you watch, this story showcases both the opulence and scheming that was high society at the time. Think Pride and Prejudice, but with characters with much fewer morals. I've only watched three of the adaptions, but my favorite so far is the miniseries from 1987. Speaking of climbing the social ladder, we'll now be taking a look at Bo Brummel, this charming man. This is a fun story about a man, Bo Brummel, who becomes good friends with the Prince Regent. It shows us how this friendship affects his rise and fall in society. Basically, he is a master of being suave and fashionable. He teaches the other men in high society how to act like dandies, which was their version of cool at the time, I guess. This is based on a true story. Now let's switch it up away from high society and talk about the series Taboo. This was made in 2017 and is about James Delaney, who arrives back in England after 12 years in Africa. This is a very dark story showcasing the corruption of the East India Company and 19th century criminal gangs. Here we explore just how wretched the poor lived, as opposed to those dandies we were just talking about. The Prince Regent, played by Mark Gatiss, is a supporting role. This is very much for those of you who are a fan of violence and gore. It has been announced that there will be a season two, which I will definitely be watching. Last but not least on this list, we have Peterloo, which came out in 2018. This very politics-heavy film focuses on the working class. We primarily follow a young man who goes home after the Battle of Waterloo to his family that works at a cotton mill. Through them, we see the injustices to the working class and watch the campaigns for equal rights for all men. Hint, this does not always go well. The Prince Regent has a few scenes showcasing just how out of touch he is with the people. The film is based on the true story of the notorious Peterloo Massacre. That's it. As you may have noticed, this did not include anything before the 1960s and no docudramas. If there is anything you recommend, I would love it if you would tell us all in the comments. If you want to watch movies and TV shows that are specifically about the monarchs, go check out my Monarchy Marathon playlist. Happy watching!